Ja. 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 Eventually, the child complies with the adult's request and picks up the gun. The video was filmed by Azat a member of the East Turkestan Islamic Movement terrorist organization. The two boys practicing shooting are his sons, the oldest being only six at the time. The terrified child heard off-screen crying for her mother is his one-and-a-half-year-old daughter. In another video clip, the following conversation takes place between father and son. <laughs> The older of the two children is barely five, and the younger can't even walk. The mud brick house seen behind them is the family home. The only toys they seem to have are their father's guns. Huh? At this foreign terrorist base, innocent children are being trained to commit terrorist attacks. Quran it's the Bilam says? No, Quran it's the Bilam. How is Quran learning it's Pachtamas? We go to fight in the war at the front line and they will stay at home. The pistol is hung on the wall. They can't go about not knowing how to shut the gun. So I've got to teach them. Numerous sources confirm that this foreign terrorist organization has a policy of training children to perpetrate violent terrorist attacks. In a video filmed in the year 2000, a leading member of East Turkestan Islamic movement at the time, Mutalib Hassin, who was subsequently captured, talks about an encounter between Hassan Mahsum, the then leader of East Turkestan Islamic movement, and Osama bin Laden. He said we must take these kids and teach them to make explosives. Then we took them to bin Laden's camp. Bin Laden was there. I didn't go up and greet him, but he was only five or six meters away. The organization doesn't allow children to sing children's songs. When they open their mouths, what comes out are the so-called jihadi songs. Even the cartoons they watch are full of slaughter. The cartoons are doctored. Basically, they are made by extremists. For instance, the war in Chichaya is turned into a cartoon. If we stay here, the children will definitely become jihadis. The children are systematically brainwashed. According to the organization's rules, boys, when they turn seven, will be sent to a so-called school where they will receive a closeted education. Ablimit sent his son to one and was shocked when the boy returned home two weeks later. When he came back, he had constant diarrhea, his trousers were soiled, his hair was filthy, and he was painfully thin. My son was too young. The streets weren't so well lit at night as they were in Wurumichi. It was completely dark outside, and he was afraid to go to the bathroom. He stayed inside and soiled his bed. So, what do these so-called schools really teach? A video on East Turkestan Islamic Movement's own website reveals the answer. The person on the screen styles himself as a military instructor. He conceals his identity from beginning to end. Throughout the five-minute video, one word is repeated more than any other. Sacrifice. With no teaching of knowledge or ethics, these children grow up in such an environment. Growing up in such a horrible environment, they're bound to become mindless robots doing whatever they're told without thinking of the consequences.